the OSCP. You've obviously heard about it considering you're probably trying to become an ethical hacker. This is based on the fact that you did click on this video. Now people say, oh, we're cyber professionals, yada, yada, yada. I just think it's cooler being called a hacker, but that's not the point of this video. Now, let's get into this OSCP grand plan, shall we? First of all, I'd like to address the changes to the OSCP, not in depth, just so that it fits into the plan and the scope of our preparation for the exam. Now, considering the major changes to the OSCP to include the 40 AD points, right? That's the active directory points. It makes sense that we go through an active directory based certification first before we even try tackle the OSCP. If you haven't heard about the PNPT certification, this is the certification exam provided by TCM security. That is Heath Adams and his team. This certification exam is mostly focused on Active Directory and the course that comes with the exam, if you choose to buy it, to prepare you for the exam is comprehensive and very realistic. This way, if you pass the PNPT exam, that means you're probably ready for the Active Directory section of the OSCP, no brainer, right? Plus you would have bagged another certification. Who doesn't want that, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I failed the PNPT on my first attempt. <laughs> right but we shall go big and we shall get that certification and once we do i know i'm good for the active directory section of the oscp i initially didn't take the pnpt as preparation for the oscp i just took it as another certification a great certification right to learn active directory penetration testing but since the oscp did change and included active directory in the exam it's just the bonus that i had started learning active directory already so it just you know it mixes all well together you know what i'm saying yeah you know what i'm saying next on the list in our grand plan right is oscp like vms and i'm saying oscp like vms because there's a channel right called it security labs and the channel owner his name is howard he makes very nice vms based on his experience from the OSCP, right? And that's our next step to getting the OSCP. So this is when we move on from just the 40 AD points to try to get the other 60 points because we want to get 100 points. We don't want to settle for the 75, you know? I mean, yeah, there's a path, but 100 points is the goal. Aim for the moon and you might land at a cloud. You know what I'm saying? I personally think the preparation for this section is the hardest because there's a lot to go through. Linux is kind of hard, bro. I don't lie. It's kind of hard. But we just have to, you know, we just have to. So I bumped into Howard's channel, IT Security Labs, a while ago, and I've been following some of his live streams and trying some of his machines, right? The VMC makes by himself, based on his experience, like I said. And he has really great content. I suggest you go peep his channel. I'll put a link for it in the description below. I actually think we're from the same country. One time I was watching his live stream and he Googled something and his search results went shona. I was like, ah, 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 I'm Tara. <laughs> shona, how, how, that was the last thing I could have imagined. Anyways, I'll be going through some of his machines and making walkthrough videos of the machines just so we get a feel of those. And to be honest, I think his advice and the way he just makes the videos and the machines, they're pretty great pretty great so we have a lot to learn from howard and his machines however i did consider the fact that they might have malware on them like you never know bruh but if they do hey ah we'll just be in trouble it's okay it's okay it is what it is just don't expose the vm to the internet next on the road map is the famous oscp list by tj no you've probably heard of this list by now it's a hack the box list. It needs no introduction, bro. I've already gone through some of the boxes from that list, mostly the Linux boxes and some Windows ones, but I plan on completing all of them, even the ones that are harder than the OSCP machines, because I need as much practice as I possibly can get. You never know with the OSCP, bro. You never do. But in the process of completing this TGNL list, uh, we are going to be taking a ton of notes, building up our cheat sheet, you know, the cheat sheet. I would like to say though that hack the box machines are really CTF type machines, 
but the OSCP is also a CTF type exam, so I think it balances out pretty well, I guess. Um, and it makes sense that we do go through the list since everyone else does. I mean, not that we should be... What's the word? Not that pragmatism should win, right? Pragmatism shouldn't dictate um, our learning style and our preparation for the exam. But, hey, bruh, if you can't beat them, join them. You know what I mean? Do the list. We shall do the list. We shall complete it and make it a very nice cheat sheet. After the hack of the box, TJ and our list, we are going to try and get more preparation on Active Directory, apart from the PNPT on the course and the exam, by doing cybersec labs i've personally never used this platform but i have heard that they have great active directory machines and i do plan on testing them out for myself and i'll make sure to leave a review on the platform once i do that but until then i have no idea what to expect from them but i i just do expect great stuff i mean it is preparation so we should take it lastly the conclusion of our master plan come to the end of the plan and it is doing the proving grounds by offset themselves and going through the labs right i've personally not decided how much lab time i'm gonna get that'll de probably depend on my wallet mostly i guess but depending on how i feel at the time when i do purchase the labs um i might get 30 60 who knows but this will be the last step in preparing for the exam i do hope that i'll be able to breeze through the labs right the machines in the labs considering how much preparation would have done by this time and if not it'll be disappointing but still a learning opportunity and we shall take it after the labs we shall book the exam take the exam and hopefully pass it on the first attempt if not maybe the second if not maybe the third yeah once we get to the fourth day will be standing on some shaky ground you might not want to do it again but it has to be done right whatever comes our way it has to be done join me on this journey to prepare for the oscp if you are already preparing for the oscp i already have one person who reached out via linkedin via linkedin i don't know what you people say bro i say via but it's it is what it is you know tomato tomato i have a person that reached out via linkedin and they are preparing for the oscp and i was like bit 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 let's do it together and we might just consider making a discord channel if more people keep coming through but there are a ton of oscp preparation groups study groups discords reddits subreddits brah there's a lot going on i don't the oscp so you will find the people to study with if you want to join me hit me up twitter that's it from me i'll catch you in the next one yeah